And uh... you were mentioning discipline, and you previously mentioned uh, your your parents. How much influence has your father had on you? Is love it. Do you have any thoughts about the lady that the Prince of Wales should marry? Should she still? In today's video, I'll be exposing King Charles and all of his other characters because he has nine characters on the world stage. Make sure you guys watch this video all the way through because many of you guys will be shocked by his other characters. So first I want to talk about his fake death in the media. So in case you guys didn't know, on March 18th, 2024, there was news articles reporting that King Charles died and many people wanted it to be true. You know, there was people making jokes about it and many people believed it was true. And they like to do this for predictive programming purposes because after they said he died it took them hours to come out and say that it was fake they said false king charles death story spread by russian media outlets one site tweeted that he died and then later they said most likely the information is fake interesting that they said most likely notice how they're trying to blame the russian media outlets for all of this but we already know that they run the entire internet so they purposely put out this misinformation for predictive programming purposes so that when they actually kill off his character people were already programmed with that idea therefore they will accept it when it happens so they responded and they said the news about king charles the third death is fake and i found this interesting because they did the same thing with queen elizabeth before she died so this is how i know that they're going to kill off king charles character on the world stage because they literally did the same thing with queen elizabeth so they made these memes in 2019 that Queen Elizabeth was going to die. And obviously she didn't die in 2019, but later on we've seen that she actually died in 2022. So they were purposely putting out these fake stories of her dying so that when she actually dies, people just accept it because subconsciously your mind is already familiar with that idea. And apparently her son, which is King Charles, tested positive for the CV. You know, I can't say the word, but you guys can read it for yourself. This was also predictive programming for his upcoming fake death. And notice how they were also making jokes about her being immortal. There was many memes about that. And ironically, another character that they did a death hoax with around the same time was PNB Rock. So Queen Elizabeth's death hoax was in January of 2019. And then PNB Rock's death hoax was December of 2019. So they did both of these death hoaxes in the media the same year. And then three years later, both of their characters died a couple days apart. Do you guys really think that's a coincidence? And I made a video about this two years ago. The link is in the description. So now let's talk about Charles because they're really hinting that this character is going to die very soon. So on March 18th, ironically the 18th and die equals 18 in gematria but on march 18th this happened and notice how this article said king charles iii isn't dead yet so they put the yet because they know that he's going to fake his death very soon and many people believed that the news about him dying was real because a month before that they announced that king charles was diagnosed with cancer so on february 5th he got cancer and a month later they said that he died so that's why many people believed it. And I know for a fact that they're going to kill this character very soon. Most likely in the next two years. Because they're already saying that they have his funeral plans ready. Because he was given two years to live due to his pancreatic cancer. So they're admitting that they have this character's death staged and planned already. Because everything they do is scripted beforehand. And it's ironic that King Charles is going to die from cancer. Because Queen Elizabeth also died from cancer. As you can see, Elizabeth died from bone marrow cancer. And the craziest thing about all of this is the fact that they announced King Charles' cancer on February 5th, 2024. And one month later, on March 22nd, Kate Middleton came out and said that she also has cancer. So what are the chances that all three of these characters had cancer? And the weirdest part about all of this is the fact that King Charles' death hoax was on March 18th. And four days later, there was a Kate Middleton death hoax on March 22nd. So people were saying that Kate Middleton was missing and that she died. And so they came out and said that she actually has cancer. So don't you guys find it weird that there was a death hoax surrounding Kate Middleton and King Charles four days apart? And on top of that, they both have cancer. And of course, this date is March 22nd, which is written out as 322 just like the skull and bones logo and ironically 
King Charles' coronation happened in 2023, which is 322 backwards. So these two characters are very connected to the Skull and Bones. And they also had a Moscow shooting on that same date of March 22nd. So that was also connected to the Skull and Bones. And a weird connection there is the fact that this shooting happened in Moscow, which is a city in Russia. And they were just talking about how the Russian media outlets put out the false information about King Charles' death. So that's a very interesting connection. Five days after Kate Middleton announced her cancer, they announced another character on the world stage with cancer, which is Twitch's biggest streamer, Ninja. If you guys remember, he got famous when Fortnite was really big. And this is damage control because I actually exposed Ninja a year ago in my Aaron Carter video. And I talked about how they're most likely going to kill off Aaron Carter's other characters because he faked his death already. And he faked his death a few days after takeoff. So you guys can go watch my video about Aaron Carter and Ninja. Aaron Carter has many other characters that I exposed in this video as well. But as you can see, Ninja is clearly one of them. And they're bringing out all of this information about celebrities getting cancer and stuff like that because they're admitting that people are getting really sick due to the chemicals that they're ingesting. And I have an hour long documentary going into detail about all of the chemicals they're attacking us with and how you can prevent cancer and many other diseases simply by avoiding these chemicals. And it's very simple. It's as simple as drinking out of a glass of water rather than a plastic water bottle. You know, I gave many solutions in this video. You know, that's just one thing that I mentioned in this video. But there's many other ways that they're attacking us. So I highly recommend you guys go watch this video and subscribe to my Patreon if you're not already. The link is in the description. And Devon Sade recently made another video similar to mine about McDonald's and the mind control that's going on with that. Because McDonald's openly admits that their food causes cancer. I mean, they literally have a sign on the door where they're admitting to you that their food causes cancer. And 99% of other fast food restaurants have the same exact sign in their store. So go check out Devon Sade's video about McDonald's on our Patreon. We both share a Patreon so you guys can get double content from both of us on the same Patreon. The link is in the description. Now let's talk about King Charles' other characters on the world stage. So the oldest character I was able to find of King Charles is this old guy from 1433. And this one is very obvious because not only do they look exactly alike, but this other guy's name is Charles the Bold. So they both have the same exact name of Charles. And another connection is that this guy was the Duke of Burgundy in France and King Charles was the Prince of Wales. So they're both royalty. And another obvious connection is the fact that their birthdays are so close together. So Charles the Bold's birthday is November 10th, 1433. And King Charles' birthday is four days later on November 14th, 1948. So their birthdays are only four days apart. I can't make this up, man. This one is way too obvious. They look exactly alike. They have the same name and their birthdays are only four days apart. Now let's move on to the next character, which is an Indian actor. If you guys haven't noticed, all celebrities have an Indian character in Bollywood or somewhere in India where they're infiltrating over there as well. Shout out to Divine Sade because she recently exposed Usher and how he has an Indian character. Go check out her video on that. I'll put a link in the description. Because people need to know that they have characters all around the world. Not just in the United States or the United Kingdom. You know, they have characters everywhere. So here's some good side-by-side -side comparisons of King Charles and his Indian character. And notice how they both have a child hanging around them right here. So in case you guys are interested, this Indian actor's name is Nazir Ruddin Shah. Now let's move on to the next character that King Charles has, which is Keith Richards from the Rolling Stones. So as you guys can see, this one is incredibly obvious. Notice how their noses are exactly the same right here. And they have the same eyes, the same smile. This one is very obvious. And notice how his other character is Keith. And now he's King Charles. So they both have that K in common. And they made many memes about this because most people already know about this one because of how obvious it is. And they photoshopped Keith Richards' face on King Charles and King Charles' face on Keith Richards. And these two characters also share the same side profile. It's crazy how much they look alike from the side as well. And this comparison right here is spot on. You can really see the similarities in their eyes 
and their face structure. Because not only do these two characters look alike right now that they're old, but they even looked so much alike when they were younger. This picture on the left is Charles and the picture on the right is Keith Richards. And they even looked alike when they were children. And they also have the same exact ears. They have these very big Dumbo ears. Now let's get into the Gematria connections because Keith Richards' other stage name is Keith Richard. Apparently his name used to be Keith Richard, but then he changed it back to Keith Richards. So Keith Richard matches up with Charles' first and last name, which is Charles George. As you can see, Charles George and Keith Richard have the same Gematria of 69 in the reduction cipher. And Keith Richards was a part of the Rolling Stones. So the Rolling Stones also matches up with King Charles III. As you can see, they both equal 84 in the Latin reduction cipher. And then Rolling Stones also matches up with King Charles with the number 62 in the same cipher. And King Charles and Rolling Stones also match up in two other ciphers. As you can see, they both equal 62, 73, and 91. And King Charles used to be Prince Charles, so I matched that up as well. And I noticed that Prince Charles equals 220, just like the Rolling Stones, in the same cipher. So these characters are connected in many ways. The biggest connection of them all is the fact that Keith Richards had beef with Prince. And this is a huge connection because Keith Richards hated Prince, and Keith Richards' other character was a Prince. So this one is very obvious and this is a little riddle that they put in there for us to catch on to. Another connection is the fact that the Rolling Stones was formed in 1962 and Rolling Stones equals 62 in Gematria and King Charles also equals 62. So it was very scripted for them to form their group in 1962. Another connection is their birthdays. So Keith Richards birthday is December 18th and King Charles birthday is November 14th. So their birthdays are only 34 days apart. If you guys haven't noticed, most of these characters have birthdays in the same month as their other character or one month apart from their other character. And the weird thing about King Charles' birthday is the fact that he has two birthdays. For some reason, it's a long-standing tradition where they celebrate the king's birthday two times in the year because birthdays are actually a satanic ritual. But that's another topic for another video. You know, I'm not saying that it's bad to celebrate your birthday, but the obsession of birthdays comes from these weird creatures that run this planet. They love celebrating their birthdays because it's a very prideful event and they harvest people's energy on those days. So this is why they have two birthdays. His real birthday is November 14th, but they celebrate it publicly on June 17th. And they did the same thing with his mother, Elizabeth. She also celebrated two birthdays in the year. And a connection with his other birthday, his other birthday is June 17th and his other character Keith equals 17 in the Chaldean Cipher. Now let's get into the scripting of this character's death because he's heavily connected to death. And like I just showed you guys, they already did predictive programming of this character's upcoming fake death. So we can see that his other birthday is June 17th, Kill equals 17 and Psyop equals 17 as well. And PSYOP is short for psychological operation, which are these hoaxes that they run on the media to mind control people psychologically. And then his real birthday is November 14th and dead equals 14 in two ciphers. And then he was born in 1948 and Illuminati is 48 and fake murder is also 48 because this character is going to fake his death just like they have already put out in the media. And this one really gets me because it literally says king charles the third isn't dead yet so they keep hinting at the fact that he's about to die and if they don't kill off his character they're probably going to kill off keith richards or somebody in the rolling stones because keith richards birthday is december 18th and die equals 18 in three ciphers and if you guys are interested in another video on the rolling stones go check out divine Shade's video about mick jagger because mick jagger's other character is harry styles and divine Shade made a good video about that I'll put a link to that video in the description. Now let's move on to the next character that King Charles has on the world stage. And this character is called Steve Coogan. And he's an actor that looks identical to King Charles. Here's a really good comparison. These two characters look so much alike. And their birthdays are very connected as well. So Steve Coogan's birthday is October 14th. And Charles' birthday is November 14th. So their birthdays are only one month apart. And they're both on the 14th. 
Another connection is the fact that Steve was born in Middleton, United Kingdom, and his other character, King Charles, has a daughter-in-law called Kate Middleton. So that's a very obvious connection right there. Now let's move on to the next character, which is a very famous soccer player called Gareth Bale. And this one is extremely obvious. You know, I used to be a fan of soccer when I was younger. So when I was doing research for this video and I looked up young pictures of Keith Richards, I kept noticing that Keith Richards looks identical to Gareth Bale. So I made a few side-by-side -side comparisons and of course, they matched up perfectly because these two characters look exactly alike. Here's some more comparisons that I made of Gareth Bale and Keith Richards. It's crazy how much these two characters look alike, especially when they were younger. And since Gareth Bale looks like Keith Richards, I'm not surprised that he also matches up with King Charles. As you can see, these two characters look very similar as well. And the most obvious connection here is the fact that Queen Elizabeth recognized Gareth Bale and he made a tweet about it. And he said, football is his whole life and he's deeply humbled to be recognized by the Queen. Because apparently Queen Elizabeth awarded Gareth Bale with an MBE award on her birthday in 2021. And ironically, this was one year before she faked her death. So this is a huge connection because Gareth Bale's other character is King Charles and King Charles' mother is Queen Elizabeth. So Elizabeth basically gave an award to her son's other character. And here he is shaking hands with Prince William, which is his other character's son. So they put all of these connections in plain sight. Another connection is that Charles used to be the Prince of Wales. As you can see, his former title was Charles Prince of Wales and this is the flag of Wales it's this weird demonic rooster dragon creature and this is a huge connection because Gareth Bale is from Wales and he also played in the Wales national team and the nail in the coffin with all four of these characters is the fact that they're all from the United Kingdom as you can see Charles was born in the UK Keith Richards was born in the UK Steve Coogan was born in the UK and Gareth Bale was also born in the UK. Now let's move on to the next character in this group of characters, which is Kenny McEvoy. I'm not sure how you pronounce his last name, but it's very obvious that this guy is another variant of Gareth Bale that they created because he looks exactly like him and they even played for the same team. I can't make this up. As you can see, both of these characters played for Tottenham Spurs. And obviously they created Kenny's character after Gareth Bale. So after Bale left that team, they put this new character of his onto that team. So that's a way of them admitting the truth in plain sight. You know, they love mocking everybody because they put this one out themselves as well. You know, and they just called them lookalikes. But obviously we know it's way deeper than that. Another connection is not only did they both play for the Tottenham Spurs but they're both left-footed as well. So they really didn't change anything with this character, man. It's so obvious. Another connection is that his real name is Kenneth, which sounds very similar to his other character, Keith. Now let's move on to the next character on this list, which is Toby Cabell, and he's an actor from the UK. So that's another connection because I just showed you guys that four of these characters are from the UK. And Toby Cabell is an actor from Black Mirror. So most of you guys probably know him from there. As soon as I seen Toby, I knew instantly his other character was Gareth Bale because they look so much alike. And in this episode of Black Mirror, he has this chip in his brain that allows him to see his memories and stuff like that. And so I thought it was interesting that his other character, Gareth Bale, has these very blue eyes that resemble Toby Cabell's eyes in that episode. Another connection between these two characters is the fact that Toby Cabell's birthday is July 9th. And Gareth Bale's birthday is July 16th. So their birthdays are only seven days apart. Another connection that I noticed is that Toby Cabell has a picture doing one eye symbolism. And it's in black and white. And it reminded me a lot of Keith Richards photo. Where he's doing one eye symbolism. And it's in black and white as well. Because these two characters are a part of the same group of characters. And for some reason Keith Richards has so many pictures doing one eye symbolism. Right here he has an eye patch. Which is still a form of one eye symbolism. And then here he is doing one eye again. In plain sight. Right here he's doing it with his cigarette. And then right here he's doing it with the smoke. And notice how he also has a skull ring on his ring finger. 
and then here he is doing one eye again with his guitar and he has these other ones where he's being very subtle about it like right here and right here as well and this is still technically one eye symbolism because the shadow is over one of his eyes along with his hand now let's get back to king charles because this character is another antichrist character as you can see he has the pyramid with the eye symbolism in the background and this character has a card in the illuminati card game i have a video about that on my patreon and donald trump is also in the illuminati card game as well because both of these characters are antichrist characters on the world stage this is why both of them have many pictures together. And I made a video about Donald Trump six months ago. Make sure you guys go check out that video if you haven't. The link is in the description. And the reason why I call them Antichrist characters is because the Bible is very symbolic. You know, it's not literal. But since they created the Bible, they implemented a lot of little riddles in the Bible that are symbolic to what they're doing on the world stage. And it's all symbolic because Christ is symbolic to Christ consciousness. So if somebody's an antichrist, they're anti-Christ consciousness, aka they're against consciousness. Because consciousness is when you activate your third eye and you raise your vibration all the way to your crown chakra. Many people have their vibrations very low and their chakras are imbalanced. You know, most people live in the bottom three chakras, but the goal is to always have all of your chakras balanced all the way up to the crown chakra. And the reason why this is important and I bring all of this up is because if you notice King Charles is now wearing a crown ever since his coronation last year in 2023 which ironically has a numerology of seven and there's seven chakras. And if you notice the crown that he's wearing is purple and it's on this purple cloth and purple symbolizes the crown chakra. As you can see, the third eye chakra and the crown chakra are purple. So this is why King Charles is wearing this purple crown because he's symbolically letting you know that he's an antichrist, aka he's against Christ consciousness. He wants to stop people from reaching enlightenment, just like Donald Trump and all of these other antichrist characters that I will be exposing very soon, because there's so many of them. And like this picture says, the return of Jesus is not what you think. You know, when I was Christian, I thought the Bible was literal until I realized it's all symbolic. And this is why I got out of Christianity and religion in general, because the Bibles were created by the elites. This is why at King Charles' coronation, he literally put his hand on the Holy Bible, because that book was created by the slave owners to keep us enslaved. This is why they love that book. And this is why King James is the most popular version of that book. You know, King James is another involved king that is against Christ consciousness just like king charles so the return of jesus is not what you think people are expecting this white man to come out the clouds and save them but those people are being deceived because nobody's going to come to save you you have to save yourself by activating your chakras and reaching enlightenment aka christ consciousness so it's very simple and if you guys want more information about how to decalcify your pineal gland and open your third eye i talked about this in my video exposing religions i originally uploaded this video on my youtube channel and they deleted it and gave me a strike because i exposed every single religion and how they're all a part of the new world order so that video is now up on my patreon the link is in the description i highly recommend you guys watch that video because i showed so much proof i talked about how the fluoride in the water is calcifying people's pineal glands you know it's closing people's third eye i talked about how there's many factors into keeping people sleep, aka keeping people's third eye closed. And there's some people that think the third eye is not real, but you can look this up. It's literally a part of your body. It's an organ called the pineal gland. And there's so many Christians that think it's satanic and stuff like that, but that doesn't make any sense because how can an organ that you naturally have in your brain be satanic if that's a natural organ that you have in your body? Now let's move on to the last and final character. And this character is literally a demon. As you can see, this is the demon known as Baal, or Baal, which is super ironic. I just noticed a huge connection. This is a huge connection to his other character, Gareth Baal, because they're both based off the same demon known as Baal. So it's crazy how they recycled the same name into King Charles' other character. And it's so crazy because I didn't even notice this when I was putting this video together. But just right now, I pieced it together that this demon is named Baal, 
and this creature looks exactly like King Charles and King Charles has a younger character called Bale. You know, it's all in plain sight. Bale is the first of the 72 spirits summoned by King Solomon and governs 66 to 250 legions of demonic spirits. He's a fallen angel turned demon and is described as a hoarsely voiced king with the power to make men invisible. So when I was Christian, I used to talk about how celebrities are fallen angels and I'm not wrong about that because you don't have to be Christian to understand the symbology in the Bible. You know, fallen angels are symbolic to the demons that celebrities are. The fallen is symbolic to how these are low vibrational beings. So this is why it's very important to understand that the Bible is based off analogies and metaphors and it's not to be taken literal. So anyways, it's very obvious that King Charles is based off of this demon named Baal, which I can't believe they literally made another character called Baal. But anyways, as you guys can see, they're both wearing a crown. They both have that same long pointy nose, the same close eyes. The resemblance is very uncanny and it's very creepy because this is literally an illustration of a demon. So the fact that he looks like the king of England is very sinister. It's very creepy because this guy is literally running the world right now. Or at least he's one of the people running the world on the world stage. Because obviously he's just a character on the world stage. But these demons are using their characters to run the world stage. Last thing I want to point out about King Charles is the fact that his hands are insanely huge for no reason. They try to say that he has some type of disease. But that's not true. They always try to diagnose them with a fake disease that nobody ever heard about to distract from how demonic these creatures actually are, which is why their vessels look like this. You know, it's all a manifestation of the demon inside. So if you look closely at his hands right here, they are extremely puffy and huge for no reason. It's really creepy. I don't even know how that ring fits on his finger like that. And here's some more pictures of Charles and his weird hands. I don't understand why people don't find that weird. You know, people were making jokes about it as always to try to play it off as a joke. And there's these weird people that worship him. Like this lady, she's kissing his hand right here. I don't know why somebody would want to kiss his nasty, crusty hands. They look like that guy's hands from Scary Movie. Another weird thing about King Charles is the fact that there's a dog with the same name as him. And this dog is called Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. So the fact that there's a dog called King Charles is ironic because celebrities are also mixed with animals. As you can see, Snoop Dogg and Ice Cube look exactly like these two dogs right here. And they literally put it in his name. I mean, his name is Dog for a reason. Because when they created his character, they mixed him with dog DNA. Because these fake humans are mixed with animal DNA. They're not organic humans. And Snoop Dogg admitted this multiple times. I made a video about this last year. I'll put a link to this video in the description. And here's some more celebrities that look like dogs. Here's a comparison of John Travolta and this weird dog with blue eyes. And Will Ferrell also looks like this dog right here. So I'm not surprised that many celebrities look like dogs and many other animals as well. That's everything that I could find for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I put a lot of research and effort into this video. So make sure you guys drop a like share subscribe and turn on post notifications and subscribe to my patreon if you want to support me even further and you guys get exclusive content that isn't allowed on youtube so last thing i want to show you guys is these nasty pictures of the royal family as you can see philip looks very disgusting right here he looks like a zombie and they're letting us know that these characters are not real humans shout out to devon Sade. she made a really good video exposing the entire family so if you guys want to know all of their characters, go watch this video. The link is in the description. So to finish off the video, I'm going to show of these nasty pictures of the royal family. As you can see, Charles has these bloodshot red eyes, just like Queen Elizabeth. And these pictures get really nasty. You know, she has these black eyes right here, which shows that she's a demon. You know, they feed off of adrenaline. You know, I can't talk about it too much on YouTube, but if you guys know what I'm saying, you know, they feed off of us, not just energetically, but physically also. So if you don't know what I'm referring to, you can leave a comment and somebody will answer your question. 
in the comments because this is a very deep topic that I really want to talk about on Patreon. I will make a video on that very soon because there's a reason why these entities don't die. They are feeding off of us energetically and physically. So I'll just leave it at that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. And uh, you were mentioning discipline. And you previously mentioned uh, your, your parents. How much influence has your father had on you? Is Love it. Do you have any thoughts about the lady that the Prince of Wales should marry? Should she still...